Hello, today we are going to make this sound because it kind of sounds similar to that sound from Skrillex, Joker and Sleepnats super cool song Tears. Nine days ago it says here in this YouTube video, I uploaded a video of how to make the percussive bass in that song. And I got a comment, thanks a lot, I would really like a tutorial for that vocal key sound in that drop. And that vocal key sound is that thing here. The only reason why I decided to do this video was that I have spent years in FL Studio and I know that there is a preset, it's called Art of Voice uh, in Harmor, that sounds a lot like that sound from um, Sleepnet. And yeah, I have added a few effects, but let's go and talk about it. Actually, in that video, I replied to that comment. I said, it sounds to me as a sample from the vocal with format modulation and detuning. Now, the detuning effects are effects of the sort of uh, chorus and unison and ensemble and stuff like that. So let's uh, go here. Here we, I have just um, four notes that repeat. This is four Gs and four Hustlers. And yeah, this is uh, Harmer in FL Studio. And in Harmer, we can go and select this preset, preset or preset, I don't know how you pronounce it. English is like my third language. And yeah, if I go, okay, it's here under synthesizer, art of voice. So this is the default preset. This is what it sounds like without any effects. I'm turning off everything here. So it sounds like pum 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 pum. And the reason it sounds like that is it's pretty much this thing here is the sample. And you can load samples here and you can do a lot of things with them. And as you can see here, this uh, preset, it has some info like I suppose that this is the name of whoever made that preset. And it has some info here that the X axis here is the course effect and the Y axis is the format shift, which is precisely what I said is in the core of this effect. So first to dial in the exact same sound as in the song, you have to start with the exact same sample, which I don't have any idea what that sample is. I guess it's from the vocal of that same song because the song features a very nice vocal. But here we are going to work with this PAM sound. And if I move this X axis here, it's adding the chorus effect. And you can already hear that character. It comes from the chorus, which is found here in the FX. And here we have an envelope that I'm going to change a little bit. I'm going to modulate it. Although this might not uh, be necessary, this could be done with just uh, compression after. And then here on the Y axis, uh, we have that foreman shifting. And what's a foreman shifting? Like, I'm going to turn that um, the fruity EQ on, and I'm going to show you here. So, our voice has the fundament, fundamental here, 
which is the tone. In this case, it's G because we're hitting G on the keyboard. Then we have these uh, overtones here. Now, when you pitch shift something, you're moving everything. When you're format shifting, you're keeping that fundamental, but you're only trying to move these upper frequencies here. So watch closely here where those, fre where those frequencies are when I move the Y knob. And this is going to be even clearer if I turn down the chorus and I only move the format. So anyway, uh, if we dial this to something like here, we are going to get this effect. And now the rest of the sound is pretty much distortion and we have really nice distortion effects here. Uh, the distortion is here. Um, I'm actually going to turn down the feedback of this delay and the dry wet. Of uh, the reverb. Play a little bit with the settings of the course. And I'm going to change the compression from warming to heating or burning. Yeah, I like that. We can turn the high. A little bit. Let's hear that again. Okay, we're close enough. And well, what other things I have added here? It's just a wave shaper to make it sound louder and louder and more distorted and a blood overdrive with a little bit of color and a little bit of pre-band filter. This might not be necessary. Now we can play with the EQ. And this is pretty much how to do that sound. You can do it in any other uh, program that supports format shifting and chorus. So pretty much you can do it everywhere. Another thing that I wanted to share with you is that today actually I uploaded the visualizer to my song Shadow uh, to YouTube. And if you are interested in uh, sound design, which I guess you are if you've made it that far into a sound design video, uh, this song has some very interesting sound design concepts that you are probably going to be interested to hear. All right, so that's all for me today. Uh, see you next time.